time in nearly a week, the city is operating without an overnight curfew. Today, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake announced an end to the curfew. 11 News reporter Vanessa Herring spent the day at North and Penn Avenues where things were pretty quiet all day. And as she reports, some business owners say days of closing early put them in the red. Mohammed Jalib says the Baltimore City curfew crushed his business. Yeah, we just opened last four weeks ago. The Penn Quick Mart is usually open until midnight, but sales were cut short when Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake imposed a 10 p.m. curfew Monday night after a riot broke out in West Baltimore. Monday night, we lost 200 businesses. Uh, mo most of them were minority owned businesses. Many of them didn't have insurance. Um, hundreds of millions of dollars have been lost. Uh, people had their homes burned down, businesses burned down and looted. Uh, and then the folks that even didn't get a hit on Monday night lost business for an entire week. George Butler owns a barber shop not far from where a CVS was looted and set on fire. He says the attention on his neighborhood is helping some businesses. As they say, it's ground zero. So, I mean, a lot of people come here to protest or things of that nature. So, it really brung new customers. I mean, because some people come through, they see the barbershop, want to get their hair cut. Things are starting to get back to normal citywide. Mundam and Mall reopened Sunday, and the mayor lifted the curfew. So yesterday, we had some of the same outside. Um, protesters that we had on Saturday when the peaceful protests turned into destruction and we were very cautious that uh, we were able to get through that night without having it turn into what happened last Saturday. I think that was a bad choice. I think they should have kept the curfew on for about another two weeks after they didn't up our local CVS and, and Rite Aid. Another sign of improvement. The National Guard is starting to leave the city. Well, that was Vanessa Herring reporting. After the mayor made the announcement about curfew today, Baltimore police officials addressed officer deployment during a news conference late this afternoon. We're going to continue to keep officers deployed in areas where there is the potential for concern, where we have had previous incidents of violence, where um, intelligence or social media information indicates that we might have future gatherings. But again, as we've seen through uh, this weekend, Baltimore is, is capable of coming together and expressing concern and frustration in a manner that's peaceful and uh, is a positive reflection on, on the city. Uh, Captain Kowalczyk also confirmed that 46 people were arrested during last night's curfew enforcement. He also said that since Thursday, April 23rd, 486 people have been arrested in Baltimore City and 113 officers have been injured. The National Guard is already starting to pull out of Baltimore City, but Governor Larry Hogan asked people for patience today as the thousands of extra military and law enforcement personnel make their way back to their routine patrols. It's not going to happen instantaneously. It's going to take a couple of days to get everybody out. We had to build an entire city to save the city. Uh, so it's going to take a while, but we've already started, and we're going to get back to normal as quickly as we can. The governor says that more than 1,000 extra police officers and 3,000 National Guard members were brought in to keep Baltimore safe.